So I will call this special call meeting or public hearing and regular business meeting of mayor and council for the city of Snellville, Georgia, Monday, January 9th, 2023. First meeting this year. I will call the meeting to order. We do have a quorum. All council members are present. And we'll, um, tonight, as you know, we're starting the meeting an hour early, so I'm glad you all got that message. Um, in honor of Georgia, the Georgia Bulldogs going to the national championship again, kickoffs at 730. So we're going to try to move this meeting along. Um, so in uh, response to that, too, we're going to have a pared down uh, council reports. And then um, I will open the floor, as usual, for public comment at the end of the meeting. If you plan to come up and speak, we just ask you to keep it short and to the point. Uh, so we can try to get out, out of here on time. Uh, we'll start with the invocation by Chaplain Jackie Turner. Hello, everybody. Hello. I hope everybody's having a good new year so far. And uh, that it will stay that way for the remainder of the year. Um, in the words of the late Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the time is always right to do what is right. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for continuing to teach us your ways that we may become more like you. You are a righteous God and we thank you for showing us that we can unite together as a people and be on one accord. You are the one who judges and instructs us not to repay evil for evil, but instead to live at peace with everyone, for evil is yours to avenge. Thank you for your son whom you sent to experience everything we would experience in this life, yet without sin. Help us to become more like him in everything we do and speak. Guide us by your spirit that we would seek justice and peace in all that we do. Watch over the city of Snellville, the county of Gwinnett, and the state of Georgia. We believe by faith that you hear our prayers and we thank you for your answers. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain. And now we'll have the Pledge to the Flag led by Landon Bland. Good evening. Please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republics for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bland. And now under ceremonial matters, we'll have the Proclamation 2023-01 for Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And that will be read by Council Member Destang. This proclamation is a reference to Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday recognition. Whereas, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15, 1929, and lived a life of a servant leader. Dr. King changed the hearts and conscience of America and the world. And whereas, in the 1950s and 1960s, Dr. King advanced the civil rights movement by fighting against any form of discrimination through nonviolence and civil disobedience until his untimely death on April 4, 1968. And whereas, Dr. King's adoption of nonviolent resistance to achieve equal rights for black Americans earned him the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. And whereas, Dr. King's speech, I Have a Dream, still resonates of a more perfect union in these United States. And therefore, Barbara Bender, mayor of the city of Snellville, Georgia, where everybody is proud to be somebody, do hereby join with our city council and the citizens of Snellville to recognize and honor this great American leader who has helped to shape a better Georgia, a better nation, 
and a better tomorrow for us all. Proclaimed this 9th day of January 2023. And I'm going to ask right now for the District Attorney Patsy Austin Gaskin to come forward to accept the proclamation on behalf of the King Center. Just want to say on behalf of the Martin Luther King Center for Nonviolent Social Change and our CEO, who is also Dr. King's youngest daughter, Dr. Bernie Say King, we, de we definitely want to say we appreciate this proclamation and this recognition and for the work that you do here at the city of Snellville. And we invite you to join us this week as we celebrate a whole week of King holiday events. Thank you. Thank you. And next we have Proclamation 2023-02 for the seventh annual Festival of Trees winner. So I'll read the proclamation in recognition of St. Oliver Plunkett Catholic Church winning the best tree with the most donated items at the seventh annual Snellville Festival of Trees for 2022. Whereas the seventh annual Festival of Trees was created by Experience Snellville to allow business owners, churches, schools, and residents the opportunity to showcase their Christmas trees in Snellville City Hall while helping their community give hunger the boot. And whereas all non-perishable food items, toiletries, toys, and monetary donations were accepted and placed under the tree of choice with each item registering as a vote. All non-perishable items were donated to the Southeast Gwinnett Cooperative Ministry, and all toys were donated to Toys for Tots. And whereas eight entries displayed trees throughout the halls of City Hall with a combined effort of, listen to this, 9,037 donations in a four-week period, St. Oliver Plunkett Catholic Church Youth Ministry Tree received 4,440 votes receiving the award for best tree. And whereas St. Oliver Plunkett Catholic Church parishioners donated generously with a spirit of giving back to the community, red advent bags filled the halls of City Hall on a regular basis throughout the seventh annual Festival of Trees. Therefore, I, Barbara Bender, mayor of the city of Snellville, Georgia, where everybody's proud to be somebody, do hereby join with our city council, experience Snellville, and the citizens of Snellville to recognize the faithful ser servants of St. Oliver Plunkett Catholic Church who are called to action by faithful giving and joyful witness to the community for their outstanding support in the seventh annual Snellville Festival of Trees, proclaimed this ninth day of January, 2023.
And now we'll move on to the minutes. Is there a motion? Motion, motion to approve the approve. minutes of the December 12th, 2022 meetings with one minor correction I've already given to Melissa. Okay, there's a motion to approve the minutes with a minor correction. Is there a second? Second. It's a motion and a second. All in favor, please raise your hand. That is six in favor with none opposed. Next, we have under invited guests, South Gwinnett High School music students uh, from the music department at South, and I believe they will be performing a duet in honor of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, Solange, did you want to make a, an introduction or anything to that? Um, the two students are from um, South Gwinnett High School, from the music department, and as Mayor Barbara said, they will um, perform a duet honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The violist is first <clears throat> Salih, and the violinist is Mike Tolar.
Thank you very much. That was beautiful. I tell you, the, the talent of our South Gwinnett High School students just never ceases to amaze me every time we, we have interactions with, this, with, the, with any of the kids from the high school. Um, it's just always been such a great experience. So thank you both for being here tonight. We appreciate you taking the time. Okay, so we'll move on in our meeting. We have no committee or department report, so we'll move to the approval of the agenda. Is there a motion? Motion to approve tonight's agenda with the following addition. Under new business, item E, consideration and action on the resolution to approve the GTIB application to CERTA. <laughs> there was a motion by council member uh, Linsky, if anyone could, <clears throat> could hear that. Um, is there a second? Second. So there is a motion and a second to approve tonight's agenda, adding one item E under new business. There's a motion and a second. All in favor, please raise your hand. That is six in favor with none opposed. We have one item under our public hearing. We have item A, it's a second reading, UDO 22-03, consideration and action on text amendments to the Unified Development Ordinance, UDO, for the City of Snellville, Georgia, adopted 10-26-2020, and last amended November 28, 2022. The proposed amendment is to establish definitions and regulations for certain zoning classes for build-to-rent developments, Articles and chapters which may be affected by the amendment include Article 3 of Chapter 100, General Provisions, Articles 1, 2, 6, and 7 of Chapter 200, Zoning and Land Use, and Article 1 of Chapter 400, Land Development. Mr. Thompson. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Council. Um, we're here tonight, or you're here tonight, to consider um, UDO 22-03, which is a text amendment to the Unified Development Ordinance, or otherwise known as the UDO, um, to deal with and um, legislate some different uh, rules and uh, regulations to deal with uh, now more common development type where we've seen moving into suburban cities around Atlanta and really around the country where um, builders and investment uh, companies are uh, partnering to come in and develop traditional neighborhoods, which would be sold to a typical homeowner, and uh, ownership would, you know, change throughout the neighborhood into um, basically the same neighborhood, but it's owned by an investor. The whole neighborhood, all the homes, and then those homes are either rented or leased um, to the tenants, um, and it. Um, for the entirety of um, the ho their home ownership, the um, the owners or the investors at this point, um, there's really no regulations out there um, that their sister cities uh, have provided to deal with some of the um, issues that uh, come from the different uh, type to build the rent operations, um, which allows for uh, larger streets, uh, larger driveways, so there's room to drive on the street. And uh, even if there are some cars parked there, we also have some more room. But we've, um, with the really the guidance of the legal department and our mayor and council, um, have identified several changes that we feel like will help us uh, better uh, regulate and reduce any harmful impacts uh, that may be found in these neighborhoods uh, to the city. And that's just by uh, requiring larger driveways. So in these build to rent, zoning districts which there's a build to rent zoning district for every zoning district we currently have we're proposing a new one for build to rent except for multifamily. so any single family um, that would include rs30 uh, rs15 rs5 um, resident rdu which is residential um, duplex which we don't really develop much of that anymore uh, townhomes um, and ro and we would add um, a matching district for all of those um, that would require uh, any build to rent neighborhoods to be zoned into that district. And some of those um, key changes would be lengthier driveway, wider driveway, uh, additional parking, 
And um, the biggest one, I think, is the creation of a property owners association that takes on all the maintenance of the grounds and the homes. Um, that allows for one, one entity to be in charge of the maintenance of the neighborhoods and one entity that the city can use for um, code enforcement standards and so on. Uh, we've also increased the cul-de-sac radius, roadway widths for build to rent, and um, they also have to acquire not only a zoning, but um, it's a special use permit in the use table. I think that's the, that's the main point. So I did a little cleanup in there too. I'd be happy to um, answer any questions or have council opine if they would about uh, how they feel about the ordinance. Okay, is there any questions of council for Mr. Thompson? Mr. Thompson, I know at the uh, planning commission meeting they wanted to make clear that the setback on the driveway is measured from the back of the sidewalk to the front of the garage door. Um, to be 30 feet in all zoning districts. Was that change made in the it was. draft that we had? We, ma okay, we made Thank you change. very much. Anyone else with a question for Mr. Thompson? The city is the applicant in this, so we won't have an applicant um, presentation. Um, this will be a public hearing, so I will open the floor to uh, public comment. You may come and address the council with your thoughts on these changes for build to rent subdivisions. Just come forward and state your name and address for the record. Seeing no one rushing for the microphone, I will close the public hearing portion of the meeting and move to council for Madam Mayor, I make motion that we adopt UDO 22-03 um, text amendments to unified development ordinance for the city of Snellville, Georgia. And this will include all the build to rent development articles and chapters affected. And if anyone wants to hear them, there are article three of chapter 100 general provisions, article one, two, six, and seven of chapter 200 zoning and land use and article one of chapter 400 land use development. There is a motion, is there a second? Second. There's a motion and a second. Are there any comments or discussion by council members? No, I would just like to say thank you to Todd Warner, who has been the champion for these uh, text amendments to our uh, code. These subdivisions, I think, are in my personal opinion, the scourge in the nation. Um, these, these developments to me are very dangerous for our future. They're uh, a threat to home ownership. And it's, I think it's gonna trap a lot of people into rental situations that they find that they cannot get themselves out of. Um, we don't have a mechanism in that, that we're aware of that we can totally uh, eliminate or, or refuse these types of developments. So we have chosen to pick out those areas that we typically have with rental properties in residential neighborhoods and try to make some changes to the development codes that um, would help alleviate some of those problems should we have to approve some type of development like this in the city. So I commend uh, Todd Warner for the hard work that you've put in on this project. He's kind of our real estate guy up here and um, he actually deals with rental properties as part of his business. And um, so he sees a lot of the, the issues that come up. So it makes him a great resource for us. Um, so with that, we have a motion to approve and a second. All in favor, please raise your hand. That is six in favor, so none are opposed. Okay, hey, that will uh, close our public hearing. So we have nothing under the consent agenda or old business. We have several items under new business. We have consideration and action on election of mayor pro tem. Is there a motion? I'd like to make a motion to nominate Todd Warner for mayor pro tem. All right, there is a motion to nominate Todd for mayor pro tem. Is there a second? Second. 
There is a motion and a second. All in favor, please raise your hand. That is a four, five in favor. Any opposed? No opposed? I'm opposed. Oh, can you raise your hand? Oh, here we go. One opposed? I'm opposed, yes. All right. So we have five in favor. So Todd, you have been approved as mayor pro tem for this year. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Next, we have item number B, consideration and action on resolution of uh, resolution 2023-01, fixing of qualifying fees for the November 7th, 2023 general election. Is there a motion? Motion to approve resolution 2023-01, fixing the qualifying fee for the November 7th, 2023 general election. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. There is a second by Councilmember Linsky. This is um, 2023 is an election year for the city of Snellville. We'll have the mayor's seat and two council seats up for uh, re or up for election um, on November 7th and it's uh, by law we have to fix the qualifying fees for the year um, so we have a motion and a second all in favor please raise your hand that is six in favor with none opposed have item C consideration and action on surplus of uh, police department gym equipment. This is some old equipment that the police department had in their gym, so I'm assuming they got some new stuff. Um, so the uh, surplus equipment will go online uh, for online bids if anyone is interested in some gym equipment that police officers have used. Uh, is there a motion? Motion to surplus the police department gym equipment. There is a motion, is there a second? Second. There's a motion and a second. All in favor, please raise your hand. That is six in favor with none opposed. Have item D, consideration and action on approval of the 2023 Snellville Tourism and Trade Contract. Again, this is an annual contract that we sign uh, with uh, Snellville Tourism and Trade, the uh, experienced novel group who does all the productions of our events here in the city is there a motion motion to approve the 2023 Snellville tourism and trade contract there is a motion to approve the contract is there a second Second. there is a motion and a second all in favor please raise your hand that is six in favor with none opposed and then we have new item E, resolution for approval of the GTIB application. Um, so that you know what this is, we are submitting a grant application with the state of Georgia for a $500,000 grant for intersection improvements at North Road and Wisteria Drive. Um, and we found that application is due on January 20th, which is why we are uh, adding this to the agenda instead of having it at the next meeting. Um, and it, there needs to be a resolution in the package that there was a resolution by the council to approve the submission of the application for the grant. And that is what we're, we're doing here. So is there a motion? Motion to approve the resolution to approve the GTIP application to CERTA. There is a motion to approve the resolution. Is there a second? Second. There is a motion and a second. So all in favor, please raise your hand. That is six in favor with none opposed. And then just to uh, speed things up a little for council reports, I'd pulled the council earlier. And so I won't normally, I won't pull them like I normally do tonight for comments. Uh, but Solange Destang did have a comment. So Solange, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you, Mayor. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> First of all, I want to wish all of you in attendance and at home a happy new year. Just a quick reminder that the Small Business Symposium will take place this Friday, January 13th from 6 to 8.30 p.m. 
right here at our very own Snellville City Hall. Please attend so you can get some awesome and wonderful and valuable information. Today is Law Enforcement Appreciation Day. I want to thank all law enforcement um, staff in our city and elsewhere on a job well done. We know your job isn't easy, and therefore we appreciate and applaud you for all you do. On this note, I also want to thank you all for coming out tonight. I want to give a special thanks to Mrs. Barbara Harrison from the King Center for accepting the proclamation, District Attorney Patsy Austin Gaston for her support, Anne LeFevre and Dr. Tracy Simmons Fisher of the Democratic Women for their continuous support in everything I do. And of course, I would love to thank my beautiful family and their children, which are my grandchildren, look at AJ saying me. Um, I wanna thank all of you for coming out and for always being so supportive. And on that note, I wanna wish all of you to get home safe Stay blessed, and I'll see you again in two weeks. Thank you. Thank you, Solange. <clears throat> and I, too, would just like to wish everyone a happy new year. Have a, a safe and serviceable uh, uh, Martin Luther King Day holiday. And uh, go Bulldogs. I'll speak for most of the council up here, I think, on that one. Uh, and with that, I will close the mayor's report and I will open the floor to public comment. If anyone wishes to speak, please step up and give your name and address for the microphone and just be brief, please. Hi everyone, Happy New Year. I'm Katherine Hardrick and I am just here to invite you all, myself along with other partners, Chef Hank Reed of Let Them Eat, Ryan Cox of Gwinnett Chat Outreach and the chief and LT of the Gwinnett County Sheriff's Department of Community Outreach. We are hosting an MLK Day food drive this Saturday, January 14th. The line will open at 12 o'clock. We would love for Snellville to come out and partner with us and show the community that we want to put an end to food insecurities and that everyone in Snellville matters right and so we want to make sure we connect together right and so again this is january the 14th at 12 noon you can go to letemeet.com or you can go to gwinnettchat.org and sign up to volunteer donate or please pass this teachers and educators please pass this with your church members with the school because there are a lot of people who are experiencing food insecurities and they're not going to say it, right? Mm -hmm. So we need to really type, kind of hone in on our intuition, right? Because no one's going to say that they are, you know, experiencing food insecurities. Before I came here tonight, I have a veteran, a homeless veteran who we delivered food to, right? That the American Legion, we partner with and help to get these people food. So I need your support in any way that we can to make a partnership with that so that we can put an end to these food insecurities. Okay? See you on January the 14th. What location was that? Beg your pardon? The location? It is at Lenore Church Park. Thank you. Lenore Park on Lenore Church Road, 4515 Lenore Church Road. Yeah. Thank you. You're very welcome. Anyone else? My name is Tom Flynn. I live at 2358 Eastwood Drive. Um, Councilman Warner has my slides, but I'll, and I think he said that he would try to get it on your agenda for your retreat. What I would like, I know dumpster noise is a big topic of discussion. And what I would like to recommend and have a, maybe start a discussion is that we through contractually, even in, with the city, have the trucks remove their backup alarms and use technology that we all have in our cars these days, backup cameras, LIDAR, radar, you know, when you turn your turn signal on and your light or your side view mirror shows you there's a car to the side, 
well, use that for behind the trucks too. So to contractually require that they no longer have backup alarms. Then the other thing is, in my opinion, I think some of these, or maybe all the dumpsters, could use some redesign to make them quieter. Okay, so maybe there's a way for you to, we work together and find that there's some grant money to have maybe one of the colleges look at the designs and see if they can be made quieter. When you look at a dumpster, there's big flat plates. When they're empty, they're a big drum. And I'm told that there may even be some drivers who like to drop them and make them even noisier. Okay, so though, in, is there a way that we can make it so that won't happen? Then there was also in here. That dumpster, that door slides roughly, but when you pick the dumpster up, all of a sudden the door now slides down. That's more noise. So I'm just saying that those are, you know, things that we could look at to see about making this quieter, let's say through technology. Let's say, and I'm told that there, I guess the city gets GIS, or, you know, information or, um, when you to build build the customers, I'm going to say that a lot of this technology is probably already on the trucks, and maybe it's just a matter of cutting the wires to the backup alarm. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Flynn. Anyone else? Seeing none, then I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. There is a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. So motion and a second. All in favor, please raise your hand. That is six in favor with none opposed. Thank you all. Have a safe night.